Right, so here we are today, and I've got Tamara Toftrup with me from Splash Learn, and I thought we could ask lots of questions and find out lots about Splash Learn, because I know there's a lot of you out there who are curious about this company. So Tamara, could you start by giving a little bit of information about your background, your education, your family, the sort of work experience you have? Sure. Um, so I am, I grew up in California. My dad was a teacher and, um, and then he became a, a high school administrator. Um, my mom ran a daycare in our house. And um, so I always had a love of children. I helped her out all throughout my childhood. Um, when I went to college, I'm from a very small town. We didn't travel a whole lot. So I was kind of stuck there, I guess you could say. <laughs> Um, yeah, so um, when I was in college, I, I realized there's a lot more out there and I became fascinated with people and backgrounds and I ended up majoring in sociology um, just because I was just so fascinated by what makes people who they are. Yeah. Um, but sociology doesn't really pay the bills. <laughs> so um, <laughs> after I married to an airline pilot, um, after college, I did become a, a flight attendant, and um, my husband got was furloughed, let go um, from after 9/11, and I decided I needed to go back to school for something useful. So I received my master's in education, okay. and um, I wasn't quite ready to work, so I mostly substitute taught um, at my children's elementary school. Yeah. But um, I found VIP Kid, which is an online ESL company. Yeah. And I started working there and then the doors just opened to many other opportunities. Yeah. So how long were you at VIP Kid? Because you still work there, don't you? Come I still work there. Yes. Um, I am about to start my seventh contract. Wow. So that would be um, three, Congratulations. Years. <laughs> three years. Yeah, I started I started in July 2017. So actually yeah. exactly three years. Great. Yes. Fantastic. Yeah. Okay. Now let's just so Splash Learn. Tell me a little bit about Splash Learn because it's not a language company, is it? No, it is not an ESL <laughs> company. So, and the hours, everything's different about it. Yeah. So don't. Um, but you do need um, you do need online teaching requirements, which ESL companies do fulfill that requirement. Sure. But um, Splash Learn is formerly known as Splash Math. And it was an app that started in 2010 and it um, has blossomed. It reinforces Common Core, US Common Core math curriculum and helps the students just gain more of an understanding in the different methods of solving problems. Um, so they decided to launch a tutoring program, actually. And um, they reached out to me. I, I looked it up actually and I, did my mock class in the beginning of January, um, but we act, we didn't start teaching until uh, March. So it took a couple of months, even after they they um, hired their first yeah. tutors, yeah. to start actually tutoring. Um, and literally right after they started, after they launched, um, COVID happened. So we went from an after school tutoring program to a full day tutoring, reinforcing teaching program in a sense um, and um, I love it we've been growing um, I see the curriculum evolving every time I open a new lesson um, I could see the changes there they the company has put so much heart into starting the program and really helping it to flourish um, right now we have um, close to 100 teachers and or tutors, however you want to look at us. Yeah. Um, and so far, everybody really wants the company to succeed. So we're all trying to work together and being new that you have a few little quirks, but um, it's nothing nobody will look into and try to solve for you. And I mean, it's just been such a wonderful experience. But it, and it, it um, must be so exciting being part of something that's so new and being able to grow with them as well, Tamara. It is so exciting to be part of something new, especially something that I know is needed, that I know is useful, that I know that it's just going to grow. I mean, yeah. it has no no other option but to grow up, you know, because 
it's just, it's something that, that is definitely, especially now in this time, um, in this day and age, but even, even in normal times, everybody, I mean, so many students need math help. And this one, this one actually helps you with what your teacher's also teaching too. So, um, it's, it's been wonderful. Yes. And I will say, I will, I want to add that their app, their app has over 30 million users. So that's huge. Um, I saw it, that when I was doing yeah. some research about that. 30 million yeah. is massive. So they have a huge student base already, not to mention the students that aren't part of Splash Learn that also want um, tutoring or reinforcement. Yeah. So, yeah. yes, that's it's, so a, it's a wonderful opportunity. <laughs> now, tell me, because obviously, people who are looking, I mean, people who come onto my YouTube channel tend to be ESL teachers looking to get into Wales English or just finding information out. Now, obviously, you said that they are a maths company, but can you tell why would an ESL or EFL, um, ESL teacher potentially be able to or interested in teaching for Splash Learn like, like you did? Right. Well, um, do do Splash Learn requires two, re or has, sorry, Splash Learn has two requirements. One, that you have one year of experience with math, which it doesn't need to be um, teaching in a classroom. Okay. You can be a substitute teacher, you can be a tutor, you can be, um, I mean, whatever you can think of. Okay. <laughs> uh, but but there, you're, mm. what? Yeah. Yeah, so they don't, um, they don't, they just want that experience so that they know that you understand math and that you can explain it to somebody else. Um, so that requirement obviously makes sense. The 200 online hour requirement, um, we all know who have taught online that it is completely different than teaching in a classroom. Um, you can't touch the students, you can't um, solve their problems right there, you can't it's such a different environment. So they want that online experience so that you're willing or you're able to be comfortable in front of the camera and explaining something to a student who, um, you know, you don't have a whiteboard right in the back. I mean, some people do, but most people don't have that whiteboard right in the back. You don't have, there's there's a lot of different things. There you go. No whiteboard. <laughs> Your test is prepared. I have a large whiteboard that I roll over sometimes, but it's it's just so different. You know, you have to be able to have everything visible in front of the camera, and um, it's it's just a whole different environment. Um, so that's why ESL teachers are able to transition easier because they already have that experience. And I will say, um, on a side note, ESL teachers tend to, they, they have learned or we have learned to explain things a little more simply yeah. and using fewer words to explain um, a concept. And that is, that is beneficial in a classroom and online, but it is something that, um, that has become very useful in the online math world as well. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. yeah, so that, that is really relevant and um, very interesting. Now, people will also be wondering about the sort of pay you get. So how much can you earn with Splash Learn as a tutor? <laughs> yeah, so Splash Learn um, is offering between $20 and $25 okay. a class. And a class runs, um, a, a class is blocked for an hour. Um, and you need to teach some of the lessons do go by quick. Or go by very fast, but not many of them. But some of them do, and you do need to teach at least forty-five minutes. Um, and then the Mac, the but most of the classes will run that full hour. Okay. And pay is between twenty and twenty-five dollars. Um, you'll likely be offered closer to the minimum, um, and then you'll have the opportunity to receive raises. Okay. Um, yes. Yeah, so. How um, how um, how easy is the application process? I mean, what what does it look like? Say somebody's interested and in, say, Tamara, Tamara, I want to join. I want to, <laughs> what do I do? What do I do? Right, oh, please, oh, please. <laughs> no. um, so the application process is very easy. Yeah. Uh, you go on um, courses.splashlearn.com and then you'll see a link, become a teacher. You click on that. Uh, there's a video to watch. Um, watch the video and I'll tell you all about the application process. Yeah. 
Okay. Um, step two is to book your pre-discussion. And the pre-discussion is A, to make sure you meet the minimum requirements because they are pretty strict about that. Yeah. Um, it is an honor policy, but they want, they, they believe that they can tell if you have, mm. if you're comfortable teaching math and if you can teach a fine. So, um, but they really want to make sure that you, that you are able to. So you need, you need to meet those minimum requirements and, um, and then it's to tell you a little bit more about Splash Learn, answer any questions that you might have. It's a very laid back, enjoyable experience. Um, I've, everybody has had a, a very pleasant experience um, with their pre-discussion. Um, they're very nice people. Like everybody in the company, you're speaking with an actual employee of the company. Yeah. Um, they're all just wonderful people. Um, and then they'll invite you if you if you do meet the minimum experience requirements they'll invite you for a mock class yeah. and the mock class um, anybody can go on their website courses.slashroom.com become a teacher and see the three lessons available to teach okay. um, those lessons are actually snippets of actual lessons so it is something that you will be teaching eventually once you're Hired. And can you um, choose? Can you choose the lesson you want to teach? You can choose which of the right. three lessons you want to do. There's addition, there's uh, multiplication, and there's fractions. Oh, so yeah. you pick whichever one you want. You don't even need to tell them which lesson you choose. Yeah. But you pick the lesson that you want, and then you book your math class and you deliver to students. <laughs> oh, fantastic! So, and yes. what about what about the curriculum then? Because you're talking about the demo class is going to be is, is taken from actual curriculum what what's it like um so one thing i will mention is that you can live anywhere in the world but you do have to have experience with u.s common core uh -huh. and u.s common core is um it's a i guess it's the idea is that it's teaching different thinking skills and helping you solve problems in the method that works for you <laughs> So um, they teach the math lessons in different ways. Um, you know, for example, multiplication. You can learn multiplication, just X times Y equals Z. You can learn it by breaking apart using distributive property. You can break, you can, you know, like you can do X times Y or Y times X. <laughs> you know, you can use an array, you know, like a visual symbol of doing multiplication there's so many ways to do multiplication so that's what common core is and all of the lessons follow it okay. um the lessons are google slides so they'll share the google slides with you for the curriculum and then you just go from class to class um okay. teaching their curriculum that they provide for you so, so a teacher doesn't have to actually make their own content it's no. provided by no course. and you're not really allowed to to be honest i mean you can obviously use external uh questions or props or different things like that but you do need to use their slides for okay. the lesson. well that's that's fine and probably <laughs> easier for a lot of people what about yeah. homework is there homework that te teachers or teachers have to actually mark or they don't do that? no there's no homework um, i know a lot of the esl um the esl companies follow a flipped classroom or have their own i also work for zebra english and i know that the students have to do four lessons on the app before they go to the live lessons um most of the students are on the splash learn app and um, sometimes i'll tell them you know please go onto the app and do some two-digit multiplication for extra practice yeah. um but they're not required to at all yeah. and, and you don't uh, have to mark it <laughs> and no, no i know there's no grading there's no none of that no you just show up and help them hopefully okay. learn learn the math lesson <laughs> yes, <and they> yes. <laughs> yes i am i can do this <laughs> i know now, uh, what, i mean talking about homework what about the four lessons is there a lot of prep that you need to do tamara or is it really you walk i mean obviously you don't need to know what the, is in the slides but other than mm -hmm. that is there much prep to do for each lesson there's not much prep at all. Um, you will receive the slides. So what they do is they assign you a batch and the batch is a set amount of lessons that you will teach to the same students um, throughout the course. The course is um, 
whatever the topic is that you're going to teach. For example, multiplication. Um, there's a few different strategies of multiplication courses that you could teach. <laughs> yeah. um, so you might teach, you know, 10 to 12 lessons um, to the same student. That's called a batch. And um, so preparation is you'll go into the class that you're going to teach and um, you'll see all the slides on the left and you should go through all the slides. There's teacher notes um, and those teacher notes will not show up in the actual lesson, but you do need to review the teacher notes to see what it is that they want to convey to the students. And um, so after you just look them over, make sure you understand, make sure you know what it is that Splashlord wants you to, to teach. Um, that's pretty much all your prep work. Yeah. So <laughs> you know, you could have some props or some external questions yeah. ready, but yeah, yeah not, not required. Nothing not required. too, nothing too drastic. Now, another yeah. thing, I mean, uh, uh, you know, ESL and certainly VIP kids, they require secondary rewards or at least reward systems of some nature. Does Splash learn? How does, how does that work? Or is it a very different beast to ESL? It's a very different beast <laughs> <laughs> for sure. Um, External rewards are very ESL. Um, they're not something that Splash Learn even, I, I, if you did external rewards, I, I have a feeling the students would look at you like you're very strange, you know? If you can imagine in an actual brick and mortar classroom and, and the teacher's like, good job kids, you're gonna score. And like nine, 10 year olds, it'd be like, uh, this what? lady's a little nuts. Yeah. <laughs> But um, yeah, so no external rewards. Um, I know there's some people that are doing the find a star, which is a mostly VIP kit thing, yeah. um, just to reinforce different concepts. But um, no, no external rewards, but props, um, you know, props are nice to have. I mean, everybody, well, you should know that math, a lot of times the visual, you know, touching or the visual at least definitely helps reinforce those concepts, but um, no, not required. Oh, okay. Um, now, something else I was wondering was about bookings and things like that. So, assuming you've gone through your mock class and Splash Learn send you that wonderful email saying, yes, you're in, you do your happy dance, <laughs> then what happens? <laughs> Apart from the happy dance. What happens? <laughs> Um, so Splash Learn does require the 10 hours a week minimum right. availability. Okay. So after you're hired, you'll fill out their contract, you'll um, fill out their tax, whatever, all of that fun information <laughs> that we all forget what the answers yeah. are. And then um, you'll move on to, um, they'll send you an, an email requesting your availability. And the availability chart is just Monday through Friday. Yeah. Um, can you teach Monday, Wednesday, Friday? Can you teach Tuesday, Thursday? Or can you teach Monday through Friday? Um, if you put that you can teach Monday through Friday, they will likely send you longer duration courses. They'll last um, eight to 10 weeks actually. Um, but if you just do Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or Tuesday, Thursday, the, those courses last a month to six weeks. Okay. Um, and uh, so they'll ask you your availability in general. It doesn't mean that, oh, next Friday I'm busy, I can't teach, so I'm not gonna put Fridays. Um, I would put whatever you're usually available and then you can play it by ear. If they send you a batch, you can decline it too. If you're going on vacation or whatever, you're welcome to decline it. There's no hard feelings. Um, obviously you shouldn't decline too many, but um, but they book for you. So as soon as a student signs up, they will book them with a teacher that is available okay. during that time that the student signed up. Okay, yeah, um, I was gonna ask so you about you're welcome, that. Right, so you're welcome to go to courses.splashroom.com yeah. And you can look at all the courses and see the times available and see what the course is about also um, if you're interested. And um, and you could even use Tamara as a coupon code for 10% off a course if you would like to. <laughs> but yeah, uh, yeah but, any, but they, um, they'll book for you. You get paid whether the student shows up or not. Mm -hmm. um, and normally, you'll have between one and five students normally in a class. Um, okay. Sometimes it could go a little bit over, but they try not to because yeah. they know that um, the fewer children in the class, the better for everybody. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. Um, just 
because um, I find this fascinating. I'm going, oh, what other questions would I have? So, <laughs> so just to, because I think you mentioned this earlier, but all the students are in the US, aren't they? All the students are in the US, yes, yes. Common Core students on the app, students are all over the yeah. world, but right. on the um, live tutoring, they're US students. They're actually yeah. US based, so that's great for US teachers. Now, the other thing, this is these are my questions because I'm not sure if I asked them or if you answered them earlier, is you said that teachers could te live all over the world, didn't you? But where do Splash Learn hire from? Do they just hire US nationals or do they hire? No, they've hired um, any other nationals. Um, I mean, most of the teachers are US based because we're the ones with the Common Core experience. Um, but um, no, you could live. Um, Splash Learn as a company is actually based in India. Yeah. But um, but then Common Core is obviously U.S. All the students are U.S. Teachers are native. I mean, we're native English speakers, um, but there's people that live all over. And um, I believe, well, I did ask about a Canadian. A Canadian teacher wanted to join us. And they said it doesn't matter where they're from as long as they know U.S. Common Core. That's so, pretty um, interesting. Yes. Yeah. So you really can live pretty much anywhere um, as long as you can communicate well <laughs> to the students they can understand you and sure. and you just know how to teach the math yeah that's yeah. really interesting um yeah. what about so for pay is it a monthly pay or weekly yes or you know what and i really like this too because yeah. i know at um, vip kid and even zebra english they basically um well you can look at your pay on their app and if you see a discrepancy, then you have to send in a ticket and you have to try to go through these ropes and to prove that you should be paid this when you really are paid this. Yeah. Um, but at Splash Learn, they actually send you a spreadsheet of what they listed as your hours worked and how much you should be paid. Mm -hmm. And then you, if, if there's anything wrong with their spreadsheet, yeah. then you let them know right there and they will try to resolve it. I mean... That's how nice this company is. I mean, they really and truly treat us like adults and um, it's, it's just wonderful. So you have, um, I believe, three days to get back to them to resolve your pay issue. If everything is right, you just send them an email and say, yes, this is perfect. Yeah. Um, and then you were paid around the 15th of the month. That's good, isn't it? Wales is the same. We get a recap of uh, what we've earned. We can see on yeah. a daily basis, but they send it through and then we've got time to three days to go. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure about that, but you know, they're, they're good. They are good. And it's really reassuring, isn't it, Tamara? Is it just is. To know so nice, you could say, you know? that needs looking at. And they say yes and listen. It's great. Right, right. Um, I love it. Yeah. I'm just it's wondering. Nice. I, know, I mean, I'm just having a look through my little question list here. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we talked about bookings. I mean, do you, you said the courses are about 10 weeks, so you have some sort of knowledge of 10 weeks ahead of what you're teaching and when. What yeah, so as soon as you're assigned a batch, they'll yeah. send you the whole curriculum for that, um, for that batch. So you can see all 10 lessons right there, all the slides and everything. Yeah. And do they get taught once a week, twice a week, or can, parents or to students choose to have more than one a week? Um, so actually they're taught, um, depending on the course, they're either taught Monday, Wednesday, Friday, oh, they're right, taught okay. Tuesday, Thursday, or they're taught Monday through Friday. Um, oh, so insane. once, excuse me, once the course is assigned, then they'll go those days and times. Right, right. okay. And if you need to cancel for whatever reason, or if you're ill, or if you, what, how does that work with Splash Learn? Splash Learn is phenomenal really? <laughs> with their cancellation policy. Um, they understand emergencies come yeah. up. They want you to let them know as soon as possible. Sure. Um, the options, you either tell them immediately and they'll take care of it for you. Um, likely they'll get a substitute. Otherwise, they'll just postpone the class an extra day okay. um, for all the students at the same time. Um, or um, you can also reschedule if you, if everybody's on board. You can say, you know, look, I really can't teach at this time. Is there any way you guys can come at this other time? And if everybody says yes, then you're you're able to do that as well. 
Um, there's no pay penalty for cancellations at all. Wow, that's um, so it's, it's really refreshing and nice as well. And I hope that nobody abuses the system because so far it's, it's, um, it's the best <laughs> for so sure. So good. Yeah, no, it, so, it sounds so interesting. And it's, there's, mm -hmm. there's a, seems to be a lot of opportunity for, for new teachers with Splash Learning. A lot of opportunity. There's so many students that want to take classes right now. And they're, you, you're not going to have a problem getting booked, that's for sure. And how yes. much can you actually, uh, how many slots can you teach? Because obviously at the moment, if kids aren't in school, there may be more opportunities than normal, right. normal times right. uh, when it's po <laughs> after school. So what's the sort of, how many how many hours can a teacher potentially do if they potentially the teach? Um, at the moment I teach, well, um, so I'm on the East Coast of, of the U.S. and um, the hours are 10.30 a.m. to 10.30 p.m. But there are about three hours in the late afternoon that um, they don't really have many bookings okay. at that time. So um, you can teach, I would say, probably 10 hours a day if you're fully booked. Wow. Um, it's not likely at the moment because they're still getting, you know, everything organized. But I mean, I teach five hours a day um, here in the U.S. And that's that's perfect for me. Um, and then they have. Um, um, yeah, uh, peak hours, sorry. <laughs> Peak hours are between 10.30 and 3.30 Eastern time. So if you're available those times, then you'll likely be booked pretty full during those times. Do they give um, extra bonuses for peak hours by any chance? No, no extra bonuses for peak hours. Okay. No, just but, um, more bookings. But more bookings. Yeah, more bookings. Oh, how fascinating. I love, I love these. You know, you're the, you are the first of several that I'm now doing on, on, on different companies because it's just, it is fascinating because they're all so different. And obviously yeah. Splash Learn is maths and I'm, I'm English, so it, it's even right. more different, but it's still really, really interesting. Now, just maybe as a last question, are there any other sort of unique or interesting or important things that you want to say that we haven't talked about yet about Splash Learn? Apart from the um, <laughs> <laughs> I will say, you know, um, we are really a core group of people that that are really trying to um, to make it work, you know. And um, Splash Learn is just it's amazing. And you know, what another thing that I really love about it is I feel like there's pros and cons to everything. And my ESL kids, um, most of them I've taught for three years now, the, all three years I've been there. A lot of us started together and we've really built a relationship. Um, I was even able to go to China and visit several of them, um, which is amazing. And I just, I, I love my students there. Um, and Splash Lane, you likely won't develop that same um family sort of relationship with these kids. Um, a lot of them will ask to rebook you in a different splash learning class, but it's not something that's gonna last, like it's likely not gonna last three years um, and beyond. Um, but you really do get to know these kids during your time together and you, you do form a nice relationship, but it's just, it's refreshing that they're so different. The two companies are just so different that, um, that it doesn't feel like you're just teaching all day long because you have your VIP kid in the morning and you splash her in the afternoons and it just, um, it works well together. They flow together nicely. Yeah. And it's they just, it's do. wonderful. Yeah. Oh, so I love, I love it. I love I it. Think it's I just can't just recommend it enough, honestly. And you might think I'm crazy, <laughs> but I mean, I really yeah. cannot. I mean, honestly, I can't think of any cons at Splash Learn. I mean, wow. so far. That's high praise, Tamara. <laughs> yeah, it's and, great. And, it's, so and nice. it's great because you can really see your passion and hear how much you love it. So, you know, I think yeah, anyone I watching it. this is going to be saying, right, I want to join. I'm I thinking that, but I'm rubbish at maths and I don't know the American course, so I can't apply. But yes. if, if you have more questions, we have a Splash Learn hiring Q&A group on Facebook that um, should be listed below, I it think. It will and be. It will be. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I'm happy to answer any other questions that you have. Just message me for sure. But um, I I just love it. I really do. Because <laughs> you, yeah. you coach people through the application 
um, process. Is it that, Tamara? Do you want to just explain how you can people if they yeah. reach out? Because everything will be down in the description box so they can reach you. Uh, awesome. What sort of things can they ask you? How can you help? Uh, yeah, uh, so I, I mean, just on a side note, I used to be an actual coach, hiring coach at VIP Kid, where VIP Kid paid me to coach um, potential applicants to help them through the process. And they actually gave us the script to use in the whole nine yards. Um, so I did that, but this is just on my own. Um, I'm just coaching to help. Uh, we did an interview with Casey, and you were there too, I believe, and, um, <laughs> a while ago, and Splashman actually saw that interview, and so they reached out and asked if I could help recruit teachers, because there, there's a need, there's a definite need for teachers. It was amazing. So, um, so of course, I said, absolutely, I can't wait to spread the word about Splashlearn. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so... Uh, so I do coach a little bit, like mostly just answering questions. Okay. If you do feel very, if you're very unsure about Zoom or you're really mm -hmm. unsure about the mock class, then absolutely we can meet, have a Zoom meeting and I could try to ease your fears. Yeah. Um, but um, that's, yeah, I definitely, I would love to help anybody and everybody that wants to join us here at Splash Room. Okay. So, well, yeah. it, I think you may have a few people reaching out let's hope we do i hope you do because it's just it sounds <laughs> yes. wonderful what a great opportunity tamara so you know i think i don't i think we've probably covered everything so your everything will be below have you got anything else that you want to shout out about youtube channels email address anything or i just put it my <laughs> youtube below. channel is work in progress but i would love if you join yeah. e-teacher tamara everything is e-teacher tamara that's my brand name so e-teacher tamara at gmail is the best way to reach me um, by email um well tamara if you go to this hiring the splash learn hiring q a group you'll find my facebook profile as well um and then tamara is my referral code when they ask you to put in a referral code just my first name um all lowercase actually i will mention that and um it's just yeah i mean Definitely connect if you're interested or have any questions. I will also say that the pre-discussion is really and genuinely for your questions. So they also want to hear what questions you have. Um, I'm trying to help them because um, answer or tell them which questions people are asking yeah. me. Um, but they they want to know. It's it's they do ask your experience, but then they really want to answer your questions themselves as well. Um, so reach out to me or book your pre-discussion. There's no requirement to book a mock class by booking a pre-discussion. So um, don't don't hesitate. Um, they want to grow with all of us as well. So um, and it, it's all a work in progress. It's a development. I love being part of a startup. Um, I feel like three years ago, VIP Kid was still sort of in that startup stage, and it was just it's such a neat experience to be part of that. You know. Um, I, I just, I can't say enough good things. <laughs> oh, well, that's amazing, Tamara. Listen, yeah. thank you so, so much for spending You're time welcome. with me today. It's been lovely learning about Splash Learn. <laughs> so as I said, yes. I, wish, I wish I could apply, but I can't. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but never no, mind. I wish you did too. <laughs> have, have fun. It just, you know, yeah, I'll be, I'll be watching and, and, and following Splash Learn. But thank you yeah. so much, Tamara. I'll make sure everything's <laughs> below so people can contact you. Use your yeah. referral code, and I will see you again on social media somewhere. Oh, without sure. doubt. <laughs> Thank you so Thank much you. for having me. You're I'm welcome. honored. Thanks so much, Tamara. Bye. Yeah. See you next Bye. time. Bye.